Well, critics say that the British government's new financial reform policies will make the UK less competitive. Mark Hoban disagrees. He's the financial secretary of the Treasury in the UK, and he's here with us this morning. Um, and I understand you, you are here in New York holding meetings, yeah. trying to get people to come and set up shop in the UK. You, your argument here, New York is not the financial capital London needs to be? Well, I think you know, London is seen as one of the you know, two global financial centres, uh, New York being the other one. You know, we have a huge amount of uh, investment in London from uh, US-based banks. So you know, Goldman Sachs are there, JP Morgan, uh, Bank of New York. So there's a huge number of US businesses already based there. And I want to send the message that actually the UK is open for business, London is a good place for financial services uh, business to be, mm -hmm. and that reform programme we set out is aimed at strengthening London his reputation not damaging it. Well, and the argument there, you've lowered the corporate tax rate from 28 down to 24% yep. and done a few things on that front. But then I've got to think some of these bankers you're meeting with are saying you can't woo us with one hand and slap us in the face with the other because you've got, you know, lack of some of the tax relief on pensions, the activity tax now, a bank levy on balance sheets. There's definitely uh, pressure and concern in the U.S. and in the U.K. that there's backlash against bankers. Well, you know, what we want to do is make sure that London is a good place for banks to do business. You know, we introduced the bank levy uh, to reflect the fact that banks you know, do pose a risk to the economy, and we wanted banks to pay an additional uh, tax charge to reflect that. But you've got to put that to uh, alongside you know, the common language we share, the fact that the UK's time zone is a good bridge between the US uh, and Asia, our system of law is good, uh, we've got lots of uh, very good uh, professional services firms based in London to help uh, with banks. And, you know, and there are more German banks in London than there are in Frankfurt. So. <laughs> It's opportunity for U.S. banks to do business with European and Asian counterparts, you know, and I think that London is a good place to do business. The co uh, corporate tax reforms you referred to will make the U.K. one of the best places in the G20 for businesses to be based. Yeah, that's, a, that's a really attractive proposition, I think, uh, for businesses to come and be based in the U.K. Well, interestingly, one story that got a lot of traction here was uh, J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon supposedly being considering pulling that uh, new headquarters they were going to set up in London. They've already spent hundreds of millions of dollars on it, but the, the thought there being it's just too high of a cost to do business in London, even if it is an tr attractive location. Well, you know, I think London is a, it's an attractive location, and I think that you know, J.P. Morgan will need to make their own decisions, but what I, what I would say to them is that you know, forget about what's happened in the past. Forget about what happened under the previous government. Look at our track record over the last four months. The but doesn't Chancellor Osborne also want to uh, possibly add in here another uh, uh, levy on assets over 20 billion? Well, that's the uh, bank levy we talked about earlier on. Right. That'll, just, that'll raise two and a half billion pounds. Uh, and it's been pitched at a level that uh, ref reflects the risk that banks pose to the UK economy, but also I think is competitive. Uh, and of course, other countries are looking at the bank levy. France and Germany do mm -hmm. so as well. Others have introduced levies already. Uh, so I think it's where the deb international debate is going. But you know, people have got to look at the bank levy alongside the other reasons for basing business in, in London. And, you know, and I think there is a strong you know, case for business in London. You look at all the other banks that are based in London, uh, the legal services, the professional accounting firms there. There's a good story to tell and our financial reforms are aimed mm -hmm. at making London a more competitive place by ensuring that the stability in financial markets, putting the Bank of England in charge of more regulation, uh, that will help I think. Mm -hmm. And of course we're working closely with our European partners to ensure that people who base, come and base in London have access to the biggest single market uh, in the world. Let me ask you uh, about an idea that's getting some buzz and some traction here in the U.S. Um, corporate CEOs I talked to, including Cisco CEO John Chambers, is on this program saying he's lobbying the U.S. government to allow uh, them to essentially repatriate more cash that they keep abroad uh, in accounts. Give them a reason to bring that cash back home and put it to work. Are you considering something similar in the U.K.? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that we really get as a coalition government is the fact that uh, businesses are mobile. They can choose to locate wherever they are in the world. And one of the big battles will be where do people and want to... choose not to bring money back home well, because no, no, there's they, lower but, you know, taxes, etc. What we want to do is to make sure, I think, that the U.K. is an attractive place for multinational nationals put their headquarters and so we're going to change our tax system so moving towards a system where increasingly people will be taxed on the profit
assets they own in the country mm -hmm. and not necessarily the cash they repatriate. You know, and I think that you know, the, the world is changing. You know, we see in financial services particularly where people, capital and businesses are mobile. You know, the challenge I think for the 21st century is what can you do to attract businesses to your country right. and contribute towards your economy. A stable financial system is part of that, good tax rates are part of that uh, and actually having a good environment for business and Britain's open for business and want more businesses from the US to come and invest here. All right. Well, thank you, thank uh, you. for making your argument, uh, Mark. I appreciate you making the time.